remember days you hold my hand, walk the streets. You the man? Did you know the days are gone? There was a time I was alone, no help, my soul. It was a hard time for. Hello again, I am Blunty, currently wondering if there is too much background noise to be able to use this piece to camera. I'm in Bangkok right now uh, at the invitation of AMD, checking out their latest generation of Ryzen processors. The next generation of Ryzen processors, the Zen Plus generation of Ryzen processors, or the 2000 series of Ryzen processors, basically it's the new CPUs. As we all know, I and my fellow tech PC gamer community, tech tuber kind of guys, were almost universally very impressed by the initial generation of the Ryzen chips. Second generation is here and it's promising big, important, lovely, interesting things. It's not a quantum leap. This is an evolution of the existing line. They're moving to a 12 nanometer process instead of 14. Basically, if you don't know what that means, they're gonna run at faster clock speeds, at more controllable temperatures. They've got new technology on there to help them run faster more often, things like that. Also going on around me, there's, uh, there's this benchmarking and overclock competitions. There's some extreme overclocking going on over there with some liquid nitrogen, which I always love when that happens at events like this because you feel in slow motion and the smoke from the liquid nitrogen sort of evaporating off it looks really, really dramatic and cool and you can put some cool music behind it and get some of those fancy shots that don't really mean anything in a YouTube video, but take up a little precious time and kind of look flashy and, and make people think that, that your video is more important than it actually is. So I'm going to indulge myself, if you don't mind, in a bit of B-roll wankery right now. Then we'll get to the important stuff, what do you reckon?
Something I do want to touch on is the uh, the good guy AMD thing. That being that the sockets and the motherboards are, are forward compatible. You don't have to replace your motherboard. You're not going to have to replace your motherboard going forward in generations of uh, Ryzen CPUs. Even if you skip this one, like say you've got a 1600X right now, you may not necessarily feel like you want to upgrade, but next what, next time around, next year, maybe you do. The year after that, maybe you do. Well, you can do that, which is the brilliant thing, lovely thing about how AMD have planned out the future of this product. Yeah, I've just got someone extremely unprofessional trying to distract me behind the camera. Look at this, look at this guy, look at this guy. Who are you? What are you doing? <laughs> See, when I'm at these events, I don't do that to other, other, other content creators. Often. And then of course, all of the Ryzen desktop product portfolio from day one was always planned with the AM4 platform being the heart of everything that we're doing. What I mean by that is from when we decided to build this product five years ago, we architected the AM4 platform to last three to four years in market. Um, without needing to change your motherboard infrastructure, without completely redoing uh, the technology that it takes to build an AMD motherboard, we now have four different product families all residing in that AM4 platform. And it's purpose built to last longer and longer. The first one is the Ryzen 7 2700X. It is the flagship of our second generation Ryzen CPU. It is an eight core 16 thread processor. As you can see here, the clocks are 3.7 gigahertz base frequency, 4.3 gigahertz boost frequency, and a very nice attractive $329 list price for this product. And of course, as I mentioned, you'll see here written, and it now comes shipping with our latest Wraith Prism product, uh, Cooler, which we'll talk to you about more in just a moment. So that's the 2700X. And then it's little brother, much like before, where we had the 1700X, or the 1700 and the 17X last year. Now we have the 2700. So at that same aggressive price point, $299 SEP, we now have a, a 3.2 gigahertz base clock, 4.1 gigahertz boost clock, still in that low 65 watt TDP infrastructure, and shipping with the Wraith Spire, um, and that, again, an eight core 16 thread product. And then moving into the Ryzen 5 lineup, we have two Ryzen 5 products. The flagship is the 2600X. Um, so this is the replacement for the 1600X. It's a six core 12 thread, and again, ships with the Wraith Spire, just like the 2700, and a $229 price point with boost clocks all the way up to 4.2 gigahertz. Then finally, rounding out the lineup is the Ryzen 5 2600. So this is a replacement for our extremely successful and popular Ryzen 5 1600. Um, we boost the clocks all the way up to 3.9 gigahertz on this guy for a very aggressive $199 price point. So you can see we are raising the frequencies, raising the, uh, the capability of the product, keeping the price points very aggressive, and making a smooth transition from the previous generation. So what we've done here, and we'll show you the details behind how we got to this data in just a moment, but what we've done here is we've taken 12 very popular AAA games and averaged the, the FPS of those games across our 2700X and the 8700K. And what you see is very, very close, nearly equivalent in aggregate or average uh, gaming performance. So this is within 5% on average, and I'll show you the details of all these games in a moment, but just to kind of summarize. Very, very close, within 5% on gaming capability, 1080p settings. And then on the creative performance, we did the same thing. We took average of five uh, content creation apps, and we looked at our advantage over the competition in every one of those apps. And we have over a 20% advantage, which is something you can really feel. 20% plus faster creative performance is something you can tell. The gaming performance difference between us and Intel is negligible, especially from an experience perspective. Smooth, beautiful gaming in both cases, and an absolutely noticeable difference uh, with Ryzen being superior in the speed of that digital content creation. And then we do all that at a lower price. Stay tuned to the channel, stay subscribed, all that kind of stuff, uh, because there will be a proper review coming uh, with some proper builds. We're going to play some proper games. I'm not going to worry about bar charts in comparison. I'm just going to do stuff and show you how well the new Ryzen chips do stuff. So uh, your job is now to pop a comment in the down below area and let me know what stuff you want me to make it do so I can show you how well it does that stuff.
Also, Bangkok is very humid. <laughs>